Right, now this is the thing I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about dark matter and energy particles. Now, dark matter and energy particles are something in which they communicate um, on, on a very big level in the universe. What happens with dark matter <coughs> is that the dark matter is basically a layer of a tension of nothing but it has an actual structural density to it. The structural density to the dark matter is that dark matter itself is structurally dense in the order of its existence. But, there, but within dark matter, <coughs> there is what you call dark energy. Now dark energy is also energy particles. Now energy particles will perform in the sense of we are tiny, and full of energy and I have a signature another one over here which will say I am energy and I am a particle and I have a different structural signature and all the space in between can be light years apart light years utter and total light years apart and because of the structural framework of dark matter and the flow of dark energy dark matter becomes the storage unit using dark energy as its flow structure to store information from energy particles so energy particles will be one over here light years away another energy particle will be down here light years away it will all have their frequency and signatures and their identification and their energy source and if one of these let's say another particle over here right, changes its structure of energy the dark matter in which they all sit in and the energy of dark energy are all connected to all the areas of all the particles all the particles are connected in space by dark energy and dark energy is part of dark matter and dark matter is part of um, the open space now open space is just empty and because of the density of empty the energy particles that exist in it and float around in it and communicate with one another in it now there is also something in creation which is used for communicational purposes for instant communications a particle of energy will admit a signature and it will also admit um, a recognizable light source now it depends on the spectrum of the light source but because the light source can be physically seen in the visibility of the spectrum all communications between energy structures and particles flow through dark matter encouraged to communicate through dark energy but the visibility of the instant communicational recognition of signatures can be light years away with instant recognition of communications because of visible light structures <coughs> the light wave of visibility now it does depend on the structural format of the visibility because you can have invisible light wave structures and you can have visible light wave structures that fall in the order of spectrum in your visible visible in the sense of understanding but also all the spectrum the spectrum of the light wave itself from the beginning all the way to the end of its source but even then 
at the beginning and the end there is another order of another something right and we'll go into that a little bit later on the, the other visit uh, the other little bit of something because you've got to have a little bit of something here right and a little bit of something here for the whole structure of the light wave that we know of so far that is to exist right it's called that's a uh, I mean what can we call it it's called energy flow and you have a plus and a minus right? and you might have a plus plus and a minus and you might have a, a minus minus and a plus right? either way it builds a communication of instant recognition because of rules of nature we'll leave it there and we'll go into explanation of all these things later on